Hey guys, Josh here. Uh, just bringing you a video to sort of talk about the um, the rewards that came out with the Christmas presents, like so. That uh, was they were introduced at the same time as the holiday event, which you may have seen. I also did a video on. Uh, purely sort of cosmetic, although one has I like more than the rest because it has an experience bonus. But we'll get to that. Uh, first off, we have the Fist of Mistletoe. As you can see, it's small stats, nothing flash, but people have solid corp with flowers and such items, so maybe the Fist of Mistletoe is the next, uh, the next big thing. So if you pop that on, and have a look what it looks like. You know, it's nothing fantastic. Uh, it also has an emote, like this. Uh, you may notice, or you may have seen it, you may have even tried it, if you face each other, if you or if you face a friend or whoever, and both do the emote at the same time, it actually, uh, you actually end up kissing each other. So if RuneScape action is your thing, then I would suggest getting the Fist of Mistletoe, because this might be your, your lucky day. Have fun with that. Uh, on to the Christmas pudding amulet. Now, this is the experience. Uh, this is what has the experience bonus. Uh, it doesn't give any stats or anything along those lines. It doesn't look special. It's just a Christmas pudding on a on a string, really. Uh, but it does give double experience for about 68, 69k. So, I'd would definitely recommend getting your hands on it, especially considering at the time of this video the cost of the presents was about uh, 250-300k, so personally I'd definitely say that's worth it. Uh, I'll cover later on uh, what presents and what items in particular you need. Uh, on to the Christmas tree hat. Well, I'm just going to go out and say it, but I think it looks like crap. It's certainly interesting. That's another word for it. Uh, if you see me in game wearing it, please just abuse the hell out of me. And I really hope I don't get caught wearing that because <laughs> I don't plan to. Anyway, uh, or you may have seen people trading it uh, at the time of this video. It was going for about 14, 15 mil. Uh, it has come down from a lot higher. Uh, in the future, I imagine it could go up, uh, given that in a couple of weeks or less it will be considered a discontinued item. So therefore, you know, the numbers of them coming into the game aren't going to be increasing, which in the long term should ultimately uh, increase the price. But we'll see about that. Uh, so yeah, that's more or less the the most expensive reward or the the reward everybody's sort of after um, from the the presents and all that anyway this uh, for the white present this is one of five colors that you use in order to obtain these three I'll put a link in the, in the description to a sort of little picture that details uh, what they use for each one and like what you need to get each one. Uh, but just quickly, for the Fist of Mistletoe, you need blue, green, and red. Uh, for the Pudding Amulet, you need blue, green, red, and white. And for the hat, blue, green, red, white, and the final purple one. Uh, all four, or the blue, green, red, and white, are essentially, you know, they're a lot cheaper. They're all roughly the same price. And then the purple is by far the most expensive. Uh, I can't do it with this white present, but if you do have a blue or a green, you can, or if, it, or if you have any amount of presents, for, uh, for example, a start collection, yes, and this gives you a sack. Now, you open the sack, and it has pictures here of all your, of, it has pictures of the presents. Blue, green, red, there's the white that is filled in, and the purple. And this is just a way to show what you have. If you want to take them out, simply withdraw, 
withdraw all and you get it back now if you have a blue or a green you can also get some mince pies as you can see here uh, nothing flash they don't they just, I don't know how much they heal but I wouldn't admit oh there you go <laughs> uh, there we go 800 so you know not amazing uh, can't get them back these ones if you destroy well, well you can drop that one obviously but these ones if you destroy you get them back from Diango and mince pies to eat and they're gone uh, well that really pretty much covers it I guess uh, if you guys have any questions feel free to fire away um, yeah or even any any series ideas we're open to open to ideas we really want to put out videos that you guys are going to like and the best way to do that is to you know work off what you give us uh, we've got lots of ideas in mind um, but yeah whenever we upload a video feel free to give us helpful advice constructive criticism anything like that uh, hopefully we're doing a good job you know it's early days on the channel and hopefully we get you know all the the quality of them of the videos get a lot better but look forward to hearing from you guys take care see you later